Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to everyone. Today we will see natural fibers and its introduction. So what is exactly natural fibers? Fibers, they may be defined as an hair-like raw material directly obtained from any animal, vegetable or mineral sources. This is called as an elongated thick wall cell in term of pharmacognosy. Fibers, they can be woven into various forms. It, it is convertible into a non-woven fibers such as felt of the papers after spinning into a yarn into a woolen clothes fibers can be classified into two major types first is the natural fiber and artificial fiber in natural fiber we have three types vegetable animal and mineral artificial we have regenerated fibers and synthetic fibers in vegetable fibers, those who are obtained from the vegetable or the plant sources are called as the cellulose. This cellulose bases include various types like cotton, jute, hemp. Now, these plant fibers are obtained from the various plant parts like stem, leaf, seed, fruit, grasses. Those obtained from seed examples are jute, banana, flex, hemp. Those obtained from the leaves, example palm and sesame. Seed is cotton. Fruit is or uh, uh, fruit. They are core. Core is nothing but coconut fibers. The outer surface of coconut, uh, which is used as a fibers, converted into fibers. And is lufa. Lufa is nothing but the turai. The turai fruit, which is there, uh, even that is used uh, converted into fibers. Then for grasses, it is bamboo. Uh, bamboos are used uh, for fibers, converting into uh, fibers. Then uh, coming to the next is the animal fibers. Animal fibers, they are proteins. Uh, like for vegetative, we said uh, is cellulose. Uh, for animal, it is protein. In protein, we have examples uh, of silk. We all know that silk worm gives silk. Wool is given by sheep. Uh, then mohar. Mohar is obtained from a special goat called as the gora goat. Uh, then uh, angora. Angora it is a rabbit. So rabbit hair. Angora rabbit hair. Mink. Uh, mink and rabbit. The, the mink animal and rabbit fur. They are also used uh, as an animal fiber. Uh, coming to the third one is the mineral fiber. Mineral fiber we have asbestos and glasses. So, asbestos and glass, they are both mineral fibers. So, these are all naturally uh, produced or naturally occurring uh, mineral fibers. Uh, naturally occurring fibers. Now, coming towards the artificial fibers. Artificial fibers, are they are classified into regenerated and synthetic fibers. The regenerated one, uh, the name itself artificial. So, it is not naturally obtained. It is created by human by some or the other processing the natural fibers so from in that the first one regenerated the name itself says regenerated means it is regenerated for something it is again created from some fibers so there is a semi-synthetic fiber uh, in that we have two one fiber which are regenerated from carbohydrates and the other one which is generated from the protein material now with carbohydrates and protein material in carbohydrates uh, the carbohydrates, they are modified into uh, uh, types like the cellulose here are modified and converted with the help of a chemical into a new type of fibers. And that's why it comes under the uh, semi-synthetic fibers. Semi-synthetic means it is taken a natural one. Natural fibers are taken, cellulose, carbohydrates are taken and then they are processed into uh, chemically and then a semi-synthetic regenerated fibers are created. Example here is uh, viscose rayon, uh, alginate yarn and acetate rayon. So, this rayons, the cellulose, they are converted into and semi-synthetic fibers. Coming to the next uh, semi-synthetic fiber is from the protein material. Uh, here you have an example of eridil. Eridil, it is a groundnut uh, protein. Okay, we all know groundnut. So, eridil, they are obtained from the groundnut protein. Uh, by the chemical process, it is converted into a semi-synthetic fibers. Next one is the fibrolon, uh, that is fibrolene. Fibrolene, it is nothing but the milk 
casein. Okay, this so this fibrillin is again converted with the help of a chemical process into a semi-synthetic process. Now the various uh, uh like the reason behind converting this regenerated fibers is because of its uh more durable or it is more uh, elastic or sometimes it is having a more shelf life, more strength. So this are a uh, reason that we are creating a generated fibers. Coming to the next is semi-synthetic fibers which are uh, totally artificially made. There is no, nothing like semi-synthetic. Semi is like I told you the natural process, uh, natural carbohydrates and then chemical process is taking place. So it is semi-synthetic. But the synthetic fibers, they are totally artificially made. Uh, here you have an example. We have taken two examples of terylene and nylon. Uh, terylene, it is a, a terephthalic acid plus ethylene glycol. Uh, polymer of terephthalic acid and ethyl glycol while nylon it is a polymer of adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid ka polymer hai so terylene is also a polymer but it is a terylene is terephthalic acid and ethyl glycol so after seeing the classification of natural fibers let's move to on the Uses of fibers. Now, uses of fibers, we all know basic uses of fibers is for clothing. Other than that, it is used for this preparation of surgical dressing, sutures, ligatures, which are made, made up of silk. You all know what are sutures and ligatures. They are used while uh, doing uh, operations, surgical operations, sewing purposes. Uh, then it, uh, it is also used, fibers are also used for making gummy bags, like for jutes. Then they are made for clothing purposes, insulation purposes, filtering mediums, blankets out of wool. So these are few uses of fibers. Next lecture, we will be seeing chemical test of fibers. That's all for today. Thank you.